Hi, everyone. Thank you for being here this morning. And I'm excited. I don't know if you know, today is Thursday, May 11th. Today is Technology Day. So that's why I am speaking on technology. So for instance, um, technology is everywhere we live. Exactly. We have the computers. We have this now. Probably three years ago, we didn't have all these contraptions with us. How many of you guys remember like CD-ROMs, cassette players? How about a dial-up telephone? Think about, you know, in the past 10 years, how much technology has changed our lives. Um, I was listening to Watching 60 Minutes uh, recently, and uh, they had a big, a nice program on. They said a machine was actually, the first time this has ever happened, a machine was taught itself how to speak to a human like a peer. So if you can think about that, how a machine can, can converse like a, a human. So today I wanna to talk to you about two aspects of artificial um, intelligence. It's a big topic. Uh, one of them is speech recognition and the other one will be autonomous driving. <clears throat> so the first one, um, you probably know like companies like Google, Apple, um, Tesla, Meta, Meta. They're all developing AI tools over there. Um, so the first one I'll talk about is with um, speech recognition. Uh, Wendy's restaurants in Columbus, Ohio, they're the first, they'll be starting a restaurant in June, which will have artificial intelligence at the drive through I don't know if you knew that, but that's, that's something they're kind of keeping it secret. So if you can imagine driving through the drive through and you're speaking to a computer instead of a human. The reason they're doing this is because AI with the drive through is 98% accurate. I remember going through the drive the drive through when I was, um, you know, in a, in a big hurry, you're on, a, you're on your phone, you got the stuff going on in your car, you, you pull up to the drive through the gentleman or lady says, how can I help you? You say, I want a Big Mac, hold the pickles, no cheese, and a Diet Coke and fries. And that'd be $5. You pull up to the drive through and what do you know? You get your Big Mac, you open it up, it has everything on it except what you what you just said, what you said. And instead of a Diet Coke, they give you a Coke. And you pull off because you're so much in a hurry, you can't, you don't have time to go back into the restaurant and get your money back or exchange it. So with AI, you would pull up and make the same order, but then your order would be right on top. So that's exciting news that's happening and that's gonna be rolling out in June. Um, I don't know if you know, there's some good and bad with that actually. So there's the good thing is that it is accurate, that it'll um, increase productivity for the restaurant. And the good thing is they don't have to have a worker there. They save money. So restaurants will be making more money. The bad thing is, of course, that it'll be uh, losing employees. So it'll be replacing employees with, with computers. The next one I want to talk about is autonomous driving. This is a kind of exciting field. I know Elon Musk, Elon Musk has been um, promising this technology for the past 10 years. But as we know, it's not here. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna happen for another three to five years, but they're, they're promising that with uh, autonomous driving that, um, like I said, it's gonna be happening in two to two, three years. Did you know that over 45,000 people die every year because of auto accidents? That's a staggering figure. And think about how a computer can help with that. You don't have to worry about driving and getting stuck. Uh, getting making a wrong turn or going through a red light. There, um, let me let me uh, give you an example. I don't know if you have go, go onto a or you're driving into your car, getting ready for work in the morning. You got your coffee and your cell phone. Think about all the th the the things that are going on in your life, and, you, and, uh, and all that you have to get into your car and drive an hour in, in heavy traffic, and worry about someone hitting you. That's so unproductive. If you could just imagine getting into your car in the future, sitting in the back seat with your laptop, sipping your coffee, 
and having the car drive you to work. You're all calm, relaxed. You don't have to worry. And you get up and you're more productive. You can actually get stuff done while you're in the car driving to work. So those are the two aspects of AI that I want to talk to you about today. Was uh, First off was the speech recognition and autonomous driving. Let's think about in the future what that entails. Can you imagine a computer curing cancer one day? Perhaps maybe replacing us? Thank you very much.